Hey guys, it's Ryan Butler with Keller Williams, and today we're going to be talking about renovation loans and when they're good to use. So renovation loans, you find a home that you want, maybe it's a grandma home, maybe it needs some work, and you said, man, if only I could buy that home and have the money to fix it up. Because being able to purchase a home with such a large investment or infusion of cash, as well as after the purchase, build up more cash or utilize more cash to make those updates that you want, that's an expensive process. So instead, you can utilize a renovation loan, which means that um, during the process of the home, they include a certain amount of budget for you to make renovations to the home, but that's wrapped into the full loan on the home. So you'll hear one of them, one of the more popular ones, being a 203k loan. So a 203k loan allows you to buy a home for say $400,000 and also make improvements, um, for example, $35,000. And they'll give you a loan for $435,000. Now. These loans can be utilized in situations where the home that needs, um, the home that you're looking at does need work, but it's not um, at a price point that is attractive to investors. However, it's also not a condition that's attractive to a lot of people who want a finished product. So this gives you an opportunity to come into the middle and take a home that needs some work put the sweat equity in there, and then reap the benefits on the back end. Now, one of the cons of this situation is that um, while the work is being done, you're still gonna have to pay for it. You're also gonna have to have reserves in the bank um, for several months uh, to make sure that uh, that's just one of the requirements from the lenders for 203k loans. And lastly, you're also gonna have a higher interest rate. So these loan products are always a higher interest rates than just a traditional straightforward residential loan. So I hope you learned a little bit about renovation loans and how you can take advantage of the renovation loans while keeping in mind some of the cons that, um, that you have to think about while going through this process to make to know if this decisions for a renovation loan is the best for you or not. So if you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to help. Otherwise, I will catch you on the next one.